really sorry. I'm trying to get my camera set up. And I know I'm just showing you like my box. <laughs> that box. Yes. So I wanted to know if you are hopping on live, please put a one. And if you're watching a replay, please put a two. Okay. Let's see if I don't chop my head off. So I just got this big, huge box. You can see it's a huge box. I'm gonna open it. Um, I was at work when it was sitting outside, and I hope it's so good. Because I'll be really upset if it isn't. Yeah, it's like 92 degrees today. And it was out in the sun for a little bit. But so you can see how they package. Very safe packaging. And since we're getting into the summertime, the hot weather, soon we will have um, soon we're gonna have um, safe pack ship. So that means there's going to be a safe and cooled, so you'll have, there'll be cooled. Um, okay, so my bottles are not warm, so that's pretty good. Um, that's very good. That makes me happy. And so you get the guarantee in here, and you also get of uh, the clean, blah, clean crafted commitment. So it tells you, it's a way of introducing, a new experience of introducing Excuse me, I cannot speak today. I'm trying to talk too fast. So pardon me if I mess up. I'm only human. Um, it says introducing a new way to experience wine. And so it is Sh Sarah Shevnik created this synthetic, chemical free, totally delicious wine from around the world. But it's only available, it's from around the world, but it's only available right now in the U.S. Um, and then, of course, I get my list of what is in here. And I don't want to get out of camera too much, <laughs> so I'm going to push it off to the side and hope I don't, I'm thirsty, hope I don't mess up. that either. So I got that. I got this. It's just, this is an exclusive. This is the Cape Fico Riesling. For those who love sweet wines like a Moscato, this is perfect. It's, um, it is a Scout Circle exclusive, so you can only purchase it if you are um, a circle member. Then I got the Nest Pinot Noir. Now, I just had this one, I believe, and I love the Nest. It's a little bit more a pricey. Uh, like, I think it's, don't quote me on this, I did not look it up, but it is, I think around 30, around 30. But I love the Pinot Noir. It is still a, um, semi, it's a sweeter, it's a sweeter red, I believe. To me, it's sweeter. Um, but I love Pinot Noirs and I used to not love red wines at all. So, and then, This one, I always have a hard time saying the name. The Viente, I believe it's Viente, but I have one downstairs and I love it, so I wanted to grab another one because I've had this before. And it's also a, these are all circle exclusives, so you see the gold means you can only purchase if you are a Scout Circle member. And I love this one. And I was saying this one, for the longest time that I was 
incorrectly pronouncing it. And I know I was incorrectly pronouncing it. And I've tried and tried and I spent about 20 minutes in front of the mirror looking at how to pronounce it. And I hope I do not. I hope I don't, I hope I don't mess it up. But it's Garit's, let me see. It's a German spelling, but it's from Chile. So, Gervitz, Ger, Gervitz demeanor, Gervitz demeanor. I think I'm right on that. Gervitz, Ger, Gervitz demeanor, Gervitz demeanor. So, I think I got it right. Gervitz demeanor. I have to say it like 10 times to put it in my head right. And if I'm wrong, please correct me because I want to know when I'm wrong. So, um, I, I'm a person that I'm okay with someone telling me that I am incorrect saying it. And that I will spend 15, 20 minutes in front of a mirror or listening to how it's pronounced. Or I'll even call up my friend who's from Germany and ask her, how do you pronounce this? Because um, there are some words that are hard to pronounce. I mean, am I the only one? But, and I love this one. This is another circle exclusive, so you can only get it in the club membership. And it's also from the line of Que Fico, which means Que Fico, it's Italian for cool. It even says it on the back. And it says, as in, you've only been growing that mustache for three days. Que Fico. So, it even gives you pronunciation on the back, which I love because I was saying um, it incorrectly when I first purchased this line and looked it up, and then I realized on the back it gives you the pronunciation. So, um, I love this pin Pinot Grigio, and it was, I believe, I believe, if I remember right, because I purchased these like almost two weeks ago, um, that it had a lower quantity of inventory. So I wanted to, that's why I purchased these. Plus I think they taste great. Um, or they were brand new, one or the other. Then I got, and this is cute because it's got the little paw print on it. This is the canned, um, pips. Piquette. I think I'm saying that right. Piquette. And these are the cans. So you can see the size of the can. It is not that bad. And these are a la carte. So um, these are, it's got like a little doggy paw prints on it. And there's four cans in here. And Hmm. Doesn't give you the exact. Oh, okay. So it's a North Coast. I think it's Wagner. Wagner. Um. Please don't be upset if I did say the varietal wrong. But that's another one that I love. I'm, I'm going to love because I love canned wine. I mean, for the longest time I dropped, I bought a lot of box wine. And this is, ooh, this is the brand new tropical. So you get four tall cans, just like that size. And this is the tropical epic pursuit spritzer, wine spritzer. So this one actually has the, the flavors on the side. If I open that one up, I bet you it does too. So let me open this one up. Totally so, hmm. Hmm. Nope. Does not have the flavors on the side of the can. So I just messed up the box. But that's okay because it's going to open up anyways, right? 
I'll be opening that one up later on and trying some. So these four cans is the tropical, so it's pineapple and mango. So those who love pineapple and mango flavors, these are your the ones to get. And these right here, um, the ones that have the bees, um, they go to, uh, percentage goes to 1% of the planet. So everything is, you know, um, planet friendly, conscious. So, ooh, this one, that's what this is. This is the one I've been waiting for. It's the Hush Keeper Cider. And these are the taller cans. So the normal, the spritzers are like this. And then I don't have the other cans with me. But the other rose wines are a little bit smaller. But these are like tall cans. These are amazing. I am super stoked. Looks like they had the paint come off on this one. Look at this, look at the size of these. Yeah, so this is like two glasses per can. So isn't that amazing? Yeah, that is. So if you like cider, you're gonna love, I bet you'll love this. I am, this is 12 ounces, 12 ounce can. That's amazing. 355 milliliters. Six, 6% alcohol by volume. So this is crafted with heirloom apple varieties from Washington State. 0% juice. So there's no juice in these, which is amazing because I love that there is. So one can, get this, you know how a lot of ciders have, they're a little bit sweeter. This is got only one gram of sugar in it. One gram. That's amazing because it's all residual sugars. And <clears throat> like this right here, usually in a glass of wine or a wine spritzer, a wine spritzer you're going to get like 120, 140 calories because of the juices. You get 70 calories in this can. So those for you who are looking at your weight around the waistline, this is it right here. The spritzer, and let me see, total sugars, one gram. Three milligrams of sodium, and I'm guessing that's because it's, you know, the pineapple and mango extract. And then, or and then this one has, for being 12 ounces, because this is, eight. It's very, it's on a yellow, so it's very hard to read. It's eight full ounces, 8 point, is that 8.4? 8.4 fluid ounces. Mm, I'm loving this. Eight, or is it 6.4? I think it's 8.4, 8 but it's really hard to read because it's on a really br light one. Um, but uh, yeah, this, I can't wait to try it. I can't wait to try it. I can't wait to try this one either. So I'm super excited. I'm gonna put one of these each in the fridge and try them. Um, yeah, it's so wonderful, I can't wait. Um, yeah, but this is uh, my friend Lindsay. If you were watching this girl, oh yeah. <laughs> or my friend Sue, yeah. Y'all like ciders? 1% sugar or one gram of sugar, 
140 calories. Hello. That's amazing. Um, yeah, these are amazing. So if you are looking to grab any, let me know because I, I'm available to chat. I'm also available for a, I've got, um, I don't have any tasting parties available this month because it's like, hmm. But I have three, four spots open next month. So, and it's all virtual. Um, I have not started doing any in-person tastings. So if you want to, I don't have to come to your house. Or if you are nearby me and you want one, that you're one of my close friends or you're a friend from church, hey, let's grab some wine and have a party. And you, I bet you'll enjoy it. Because I know I enjoy it. And if you love wine as much as I'm loving this wine, I mean, I'm not feeling that bloated anymore from drinking wine. And I can't wait to try these because um, normally if I drink beer, I get bloated and that fat, fat feeling, you know, like just after like one or two. So I can't wait to try these because cider doesn't, cider normally doesn't work with me because it just makes me tired the next day. So does beer. And so does wine when it has too much sugar in it. So these all have just the regular residual sugars and I'm so pleased with the wines I have. So I'm super excited to try these cans. <clears throat> So if you are looking at looking to grab some cans, because these are great to put in the cooler and take with you to the beach this summer. Um, I mean, these bottles will last a couple years. These cans will last a couple years. Put them in, you know, the basement or grab a whole bunch, you know. But they won't last a couple of years in the fridge. <laughs> Not in my house. They last a couple of days, if that. So, anyways, have a great night, and I hope you enjoyed this. Take care.